and that, uh, this is another thing I remember Anthony in the Champions League at Ajax that's that's part, one of the reasons why we spent so much money on Anthony because in the Champions League for Ajax Anthony was phenomenal you see it here he gets past one and then wins and then gets the foul here just the things he was doing the the football IQ the football IQ Anthony was displaying at Ajax is this no let's see if there was or if if the hype around Anthony was deserved if United were justified to have paid that much money for Anthony or if it was just a big massive mistake in the first place and there was never any real reason for us to have signed Anthony so yeah, we're saying we won't be seeing any more time guys let's get straight into it because I feel for the guy you know when I'm when I watch United play and he's making all those mistakes it does annoy me I do I, I, I've been I've been critical of Anthony a lot of times, but it also it also hurts because you, you, you when you look at things from the player's perspective, is you, you're young a young player who if you know where Anthony came from he did not come from from a lot and that's the case for, for a lot of these Brazilian players, and it's like you know we 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 of course we we kind of take the piss of Anthony for doing these the, the crazy spin, but even at Ajax, I don't know it looks kind, it looks kind of effective I don't know. <laughs> but, <laughs> Am I reaching? I don't know, guys. Am I reaching? Let me know in the comments. But yeah, I'm just trying to find to find the the silver lining. I'm just trying to find the silver lining. <gasps> okay, we'll carry on. Let me stop. Talking. We'll carry on. Yeah, but as I was saying, like if you know where he came from, where a lot of these Brazilian players come from, it's just. You know he's had to work so hard in his life he performed he performed at ix and, and we can see here he was very effective on a one-on-one I, I don't know what happened to anthony to where he became so ineffective on a one-on-one if, or if he was just level the level of competition by the same time how does, how does the level of competition drop so much and you see again here it's like how <sighs> anthony he doesn't do things like this anymore um at united he doesn't do things like this anymore he's being pressed by two players he keeps the ball, gets past the two, and, and you can call it a, a bit fluky, but at the same time, there, there, there has to be some level of talent there. There has to be some level of talent there. And yeah, I'm just trying to see if, if the money we spent on Anthony was really just a waste of money from, from the start. I want to believe that no, that's not true. Oh, this, these ads, man. I want to believe that it's not true. I want to believe that there, there was a player there you know there was a player there that s maybe some way somehow ten i can still can still get the best of him it's a far reach i know but maybe he can because you're seeing in these clips like he's not completely horrible like the, the this touch like the the awareness of the timing to do something like this the ball comes just one simple touch gets the defender out of the way. This is skill. This is high skill. This is high football IQ. This is Neymar esque, and then he you now he's got space and now Brazil out of the counter. Like even even the dribbling he was doing, it was effective. But at United, it's like he became so inefficient that I feel like it kind of hurt his game, it hurt his confidence that he's no longer willing to try those those risky things that he used to do. Like the way he just keeps the ball here, the way he just keeps the ball perfectly here, sends his defender inside out, and then it's gone straight away, and keeps the ball, retains the ball. This is, oh, if Anthony still played like this, man, receives the ball back to the defender, turns him inside out, and it's gone. If Anthony still played like this. flip-flop cheeky flip-flop crossing with the right foot and another thing is another thing I miss about Anthony is how effective Anthony used to be defensively Anthony was a workhorse defensively but again it's like now he, he, he's being um, he, he lost his position excuse me to Ahmad 
and 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 what does he now need to do to be, to get back that position? He needs to start performing again. It's now it's like every chance he gets, he needs to perform. Like last week when we won seven 0 in the FA Cup and then he scored a penalty. Like that's that's a good start, but like you need more for Anthony. He, if he wants to make it that that position his own, if he wants to revive his career, or even if he wants to get out of United, that's only going to happen if, if he performs because no one else will want to get him. Or, or spend that that money on him because United won't they won't want to sell Anthony for dirt cheap because they'll want the return in that investment. And that, uh, this is another thing I remember Anthony in the Champions League at Ajax. That's that's what, one of the reasons why we spent so much money on Anthony because in the Champions League for Ajax Anthony was phenomenal and you see it here he gets past one and then wins and then gets the foul here. Just the things he was doing, the the football IQ, the football IQ Anthony was displaying at Ajax, it's, it's no longer there at United. It's no longer there at United. It's so sad to see. Good dummy there. And I feel like it also comes back to the manager. As a manager, you have to get the best out of your players, and I feel like Ternak is gonna struggle with that with some players like Anthony. Like, because again, it's it's it's, it's fair, and, it's it's fun and games to make fun of a player and to just say he's not good enough. But as we're seeing here, Anthony was was not always this horrible player that we see now. Of course, there's, he he does he, he is to blame as well because you need to perform regardless of what the manager says to you or does to you. You need to perform. But at the same time, that, that's kind of the, the mark of a great of a great manager. That's why every player wants to go out and play for Pep Guardiola. Because when you play under Pep Guardiola, you, you kind of get better. You know, players don't go to Pep Guardiola and get worse. Look at, for example, John Stones in the documentary that came from John Stones the other day. And it's like, John Stones was about to leave Manchester City, but he stayed and he fought. And now he's one of the best defenders in the Premier League. You know, that's what you want for your players. You want your players to get better with you. I feel like Tenag needs to make that more consistent at United. Yeah, a bit of showboating, I guess. Like he's, he's got good control of the ball. But yeah, but we'll stop it there, guys. I, I feel like we, we, we don't need to watch the whole video. Like we've, we've seen enough. And yeah, the verdict is kind of still the same. Like. You've got a player in Anthony and, and you say to yourself, was he always this bad? Was Anthony really always this bad? And truth of the, to be honest, I don't think he was always this bad. He is to blame, of course. But then I feel like some of the blame also needs to go to Tanak because why did you bring this guy in the first place? Uh, what are you doing to maximize his talent? Can we get rid of him? You know? But yeah, I, I just hope Anthony can come back to form. He helps United.